I'm Susan Oaken Goldsmith. I'm currently an IP IT partner, a law partner at McCarter and English, which is a very old law firm uh, based in Newark. I'm actually a third generation lawyer. My father and grandfather were both lawyers in Newark, and my father actually was very active in Peter Rodino's campaign for. Uh, the House of Representatives in 1972. He was actually the chair of the House Judiciary Committee when Nixon was impeached. So that is actually where I kind of come from in terms of my democratic background. Along came 2016. I was a Hillary Clinton supporter, frankly thought I was the only one in town. At around that time, somebody else, not me, created the uh, Burns Township Progressive Women's Group on Facebook. Right after the election, that group expanded from 10 or 15 people to over 300, pretty much overnight. The Progressive Women's Group got together and went to the marches in Washington and New York. I personally went to New York. I have never seen anything like that march in my entire life. I was standing there with these two women who had been at the march in 1970. They had pictures of themselves in 1970, and they said, we didn't think we would ever have to do this again, but here we are. After the women's march, I said to myself, we need to take this energy, this enormous energy, and put it somewhere useful. So I called the meeting, the first meeting of the Burns Township Progressive Women's Group. And I, and I wanna say, by the way, that while it says Progressive Women's Group, it's not AOC's Progressive Women. Our goals have been and are conservation, fiscal responsibility that the Republicans seem to have lost, healthcare, um, women's issues in terms of equal pay for equal work, things like that. So all of those things, which frankly used to be Republican values too, are now Democratic values. From my point of view, the three goals that we started with were all accomplished. We resurrected the Democratic committee in town. We got a Democrat elected as governor and we flipped our congressional district. So local government is really important because it feeds everything else. And I think it's really important that people with the values that we encourage and encompass be elected and appointed at every single level. One thing that I knew but didn't really focus on prior to being involved in it was that in order to get on any committee in town, from the pool commission to the golf commission to anything at all, you have to be a Republican. And that's exclusionary. Everybody should be able to speak up and be heard. Basically, during the Obama administration, the we, Democrats got very complacent and fell asleep, while at the same time, the Republicans got going with the Tea Party movement and then went off into this quasi-autocracy situation, and the Democrats just fell asleep and did not wake up until... Trump was elected. And that's actually, that's kind of the story of the Bernard Township Progressive Women too, because we all woke up that, that night, we woke up. We're gonna need to stay awake. And that's a much more difficult thing because if, assuming that a Democrat gets elected this year, that does not mean we can put our pencils down.